So we're here with the third and final profile for Athena Regional 2023, and we're here with Billy. What did you do today, Billy? I uh, got top eight with Labyrinth. Awesome. Do you want to talk us through it? Absolutely. So we'll start with the monsters. There are not many. Play three, Lady, one, Lovely, two, Ariana. Uh, I won't go into details. Um, I think this deck's been around long enough to you know, do your own sort of research and know what they do. But uh, cards incredible, cards are break, card searches. And then to round off the monsters, play Heavenly Prison. This one's a bit interesting. Uh, this is essentially just a 3k body on a skill drain. Obviously, protects your back row to things like Branded and Red and uh, Fur Duster. And also, it's just access to any sort of engine pieces, uh, one offs. Uh, importantly, Eradicator, because it's also a 3k, 3k dart. Uh, onto spells Prosperity, Duality. Anyone playing extra in this deck, put it back down. You do not deserve to play in it. Prosperity, get your bread up or lose. Traps. There are a lot. A lot of traps. Big welcome. Welcome. This is the new one. This card is insane. It makes the deck incredible. Unbeatable. Uh, this is a summon. It is a pop. It is a compulse, all in one. It is X bread and butter. This is what you'll be searching every single time if you don't already have it. Uh, this is your grind game. It resets itself, but you knew that already if you're here. Uh, genuinely, aside from these, these are probably the most important uh, cards in the deck. Uh, triple punishment, compulse, and then two overroot. Um, the issue, and this has the same issue as Eldritch, of any sort of like hand traps or minor interruption on your engine, it doesn't matter if you're sat under a floodgate. My biggest loss today came from, I had floodgate, 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 no engine, no pass. So my opponent can summon anything and I just lost. And that's what happened. So having access to any sort of removal is so so important so you actually do want to be maximizing these even though these and these are once per turn um they're critical compost is especially important just because you can remove your own monsters with them which is so key for things like playing under your own skill drain keeping your monsters protected with evenly matched and um yeah just sort of baiting things it's really really strong i would not put it to two i know some people are um but you really want to maximize on it uh, next up, Dim Barrier. Card's insane, but I'm sure you're either playing it or losing to it, so you knew that already. Uh, the only going second card in the main deck, evenly matched. Uh, even if it's not in your opening hand and you're sort of seeing it in the grind game, the amount of times you've sort of, I sort of set it, my opponent battles, and the battle phase flip it, and you get in with one or two cards, it's just really good for trading. And it's also a normal trap, so you're always summoning Lady off it or getting value off it. The one ofs, Trap Trick, Durian McCannon, and uh, the Epidemic Virus. Trap Trick is interesting. So, this is what you're most commonly setting off your Lady Labyrinth. Um, just because Lady Labyrinth specifies that you have to set a trap of a different name, this just ensures that if you say you go uh, Big Welcome or Welcome, they can always go get the same thing. Uh, and you're always getting value off your Lady again because you're typically using this in the turn after you've set it. Um, Durian McCannon. Really good for cash, really good for sprite, really good for any sort of towers like monsters, especially like Dragoon. Um, Epidemic Virus, it's just strong. Didn't actually come as much as I thought it would today, um, but just even just getting hand knowledge from your opponent and then top decking knowledge, everything. Knowledge is so, so strong. And then finally, the uh, not so fun cards. Floodgates, triple skill drain, two goes in match. Uh, the reason we're playing Gozen over things like uh, rivalry, it's mainly Cash Terra, but there are sort of other fringe matchups. I know people are scared of uh, Despia um, more, but um, I, I'd really stick to Gozen personally. Skill drain, it's skill drain. Um, 
Yeah, you know. Oh, Gozum's also really good against Mathmec. I know Jack will tell you that. Yeah, yeah yes, yes. <laughs> it's a card. It's a card. Uh, side deck. Uh, we're siding three Ash Blossoms, three Spear Modes. Ash Blossoms, the reason it's sided, I know it's a bit of a... I didn't want to side it for the longest time, but it, it, it does actually feel better in the side deck just because it's super... It, it's not a trap, right? So you kind of don't want it in the main deck because it doesn't actually actively help you. But, it, especially in things like the Mirror or other grind games like Runic, it kind of does just do that. It just, it just does enough. It just stops that one draw or that one add or that one summon. That kind of just gives you that edge. Whereas things like against big combo boards, it just then doesn't feel as uh, impactful. And that's why Sphere Mode Score is those big combo boards. Um, you sort of get them the three monsters, even if it's not in your opening hand, you're sort of then top decking it into later games and they've got, you know, trading those three monsters for one monster. You just win. And then, obviously, Solemn Judgment doesn't need explaining. They even need you, just see if you lose. Rivalry, um, trade out, you know, Gozen's not doing the job for you, switch out. Branded is especially, this is really strong against. Um, but yeah, I think that's just covering all bases. And then the other two traps in the side deck is Imperial Iron Wall and Destruct Potion. This is for Cash and Runic. You set it off your Heavenly Prison and then it doesn't get banished because cards can't be banished. The Strap Potion is, it came up uh, uh, once today in a particular matchup where we both sort of bricked, but I could just keep setting this and resetting this. And my opponent then eventually started evening me. And then I just popped my monster with this, gained 3,000 more life points, and then reset it again with Lovely. And anyway, it's, just, it's a time card. And then two spells, Dust Dirt and Labyrinth Labyrinth. Um, it feels a bit odd siding the Labyrinth Field spell just because it does a lot, but it doesn't do a lot on its own. And there are definitely certain matchups where you just don't really care to see it. And again, definitely grindy matchups, especially like the Mirror, you definitely do want to see it. So it, you definitely need it in the deck, just not in the main deck. So you just want to put it in servers when you feel like you need it in specific matchups. Feather Duster, um, it's just a strong card. It's a blowout, set it up Heavenly Prison. Um, yeah, it's another sort of mirror, mirror, uh, mirror card. Awesome. Uh, do you want to quickly go through your matchups today, if you can remember them? Uh, absolutely. So my matchups, my round one was against uh, Sprite, Sprite now free. I got <laughs> it's my probably my worst matchup. I got two O's. I then I uh, what do I have next? I then had Trap Tricks Theory on. That was an interesting matchup. Um, that was a game that my Destruct Potion came up. Um, but that was a two two one. I then had Punk Theory on. That was a very interesting game. Uh, I then had Kashtera. Surprise, surprisingly the easiest game of the day was Cash Tira. Um It was in against Mathmec, the guy who won was playing Mathmec, um, and that was a, a swift loss. Well, it wasn't a swift loss, it was actually a really good back and forth, and then game game three, he just he just had it. Um, and then final games against Trap Tricks, which if you ever played the Trap Tricks matchup, it is pretty um, pretty straightforward. You can just sort of demol demolish them pretty, uh, pretty quickly. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for the profile, Billy, and no we'll see you for the YCS next week. Sounds good. So, it turns out we forgot to record the extra deck portion of the deck profile, so we're quickly going to go through that now. So, back with you, Billy. Back with me. Hello again. So, we're playing one Fossil Warrior Skull Knight, two Garura, and two Natus. Um, you probably know what these do, they're pretty pretty boring. This one, it is like in the tiss, that isn't, it doesn't do it in the same, like, it, it, it pops a monster, but afterwards, like in your own turn, uh, it basically just dodges thrust, is the, the utility of it. Um, Xyz, we play Dingesu, Aggregator, Zombie Stunt, and Zeus. The most useful Xyz I found is Zombie Stunt. Uh, for two reasons. One, it's big. He's a big guy. 
um, but also it's in the game. So like, if it ever gets to a point where you've probably cleared your opponent's boards and you think, shit, they're going to evenly me, you just go into Zombie Stein and you sort of kind of mitigate that. But I've had it a couple of times where I've played against like Despier or something and I've got them under skill drain, but they can still get to a fusion that's like 3200. That's bigger than Lady. This sort of, sitting on this in a skill drain, you kind of just win. Uh, synchro, very simple, just the one Omega, square yard removal, and it also puts your stuff back. Let's say this gets popped, uh, it's kind of your only way back, but it's kind of mirrors. Uh, links, play uh, a few. This is to stop the Ibley lock. I don't know, think, I don't think many people are on it anymore, but it's kind of just, you've got the space for it, so you might as well. This is how you put, apply pressure during time, most times, and also you're out to Denko. This is your flex spot, I'm testing it. I thought it'd be cool to set on when you're playing like slow decks like Runic and in a mirror. It's just sort of like, it's similar to Lady in that it gets, it's like untargetable, can't be destroyed, but also gets bigger and also has a banishing effect. Um, hasn't come up yet. And these, uh, they pitch your Guru for the draw off uh, punishment, but you probably knew that anyway. Um, but yeah. That is all. Nice, is that a nice clean 70 cards or? Uh, no, that is a 41 card main deck. Right. Um, no real theory behind it, it was just uh, I wanted all the good cards. Yeah, well, thank you very much Bill and we'll see you next week for the YCS. See you then.